Ooh la la! Looks pretty good in here, at least through my little tiny camera monitor. That sun is bright. Today we're going to be looking at what I would consider the perfect workspace for me. Little caveat, I'm showing you my workspace today. And my workspace is perfect for me. It doesn't mean it's going to be perfect for you, but I'm going to show you why I think this is like the perfect workspace ever. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. That's the intro. Spin move. Hello and welcome to my office and the vlog. This is my workspace behind me. I always shoot here because well, I'm always working here and it's easier just to set up the camera. But today I thought I'd show you why I love this space. Now I have worked in a lot of different offices from different desks, both standing and sitting in different places and uh, like a lot of different setups. But this is the first time I really got to somewhat custom create my own space. I mean, we basically, I'm in a bedroom, so I started in a bedroom in our house, but like I got to pick my own desk, my own computer, my own like mouse and like chair and everything I got to pick, which was amazing. And so I got it to be pretty much the way I want it. So I'm just doing another intro, aren't I? I just realized that. All I'm doing is another intro. You already saw an intro. This is like get to the point. Show us. Or don't. Okay, I'll show you. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with one of the things that's important when you're working for long periods of time in front of a computer, which is what I do. Uh, ergonomics, boring, stupid. I hate all that, but it's important, so let me show you what I did. Okay, so if you're a human being living today, which you probably are if you're watching this, you probably know everything you already want to know about ergonomics, but I'm gonna show you anyways why this is a pretty good setup and I can work here for long periods of time. Hello, son. Go away. Long periods of time without it really, you know, getting sore anywhere like I've been before. So, the gist of it, I'll, I'll make this quick. My armrest is perfectly aligned with my computer monitor. Straight line here. Pretty straight. Sometimes this is a little, I could probably probably actually come up in my chair a smidget, so it's a little better, but straight line here, resting on my armrest. I look straight forward at my monitor. The center of my monitor is a little bit below eye level, which is like here, which is exactly how I like it, because I don't, I don't like to do that at all. It can be pretty straight here. I put my computer up on this little thing here, so it was a little bit higher, so it's like everything is just straight. It's good, it's comfy. It's like, uh, okay, that's enough of that. That's, that's the first thing. Okay, so this next thing for me is often overlooked but extremely important, and that is the lighting of your space. Lighting is everything. Because lighting not only creates the proper mood and ambience in your workspace, but it also creates enough ambient light so that your computer screen isn't like blinding you and giving you a headache. So mine, like these, I have on dimmers and they are directly over my desk. So I can bring up the ambience of my desk. Is this white balance working okay? Eh, I guess so. So I can bring the ambience of my desk, you know, wherever I want. It gives this gradient, like it's bright here gets a little darker over here where I'm working so that my focus can be here, but my eyes are still pretty well adjusted to ambient light. And then, I have this fellow here. This thing's just awesome. A Little bit of light over here for my eyes, because that's what you use for your, uh, to see things. And then I have these. These are just my ambient room color. I have quite a few reds in there because I like a really warm, uh, room. Beyond that for me, I like a pretty dang clutter-free kind of workspace. So this is like default workspace. I have not touched this since working today. So this is like my view. 
pretty much when I'm working without that reflective light that's here for the video, but you know, it's fairly clean. This is the only problem. I hate this cable clutter. I need to work on cleaning that up a bit more. Right over here when I spit in my chair, I have all the, you know, important things that I use a lot, like adhesives and, I don't know, tape, straps. And this one I have, what do I have? A picture of a girl with Sharpies. Oh, I have a world of Sharpies. Birthday from my son. A knife in case a bear ever comes in, because we do live in the woods. And then here, cableage. These are actually tools and things under here. Batteries and hard drives. Oh, and rings in case I ever need some, but lots and lots of hard drives. So, yeah. Uh, Cause I think one of the things your workspace should do, is this in focus at all? I, I don't know, I can't tell, I can't see. But I like to have I think the things that you use most while you're working should be very quickly and easily accessible because when you get in that mode of work, you don't want to be stopped or annoyed or aggravated because you can't find a thing. Uh, so I like to keep things as organized and close at hand as I can. So if I need to grab a thing, it's just like there. I don't have to really think about it. I don't have to get out of the, the zone of working. That's pretty much it. I mean, like tech wise, which I know if Oh, microphone, turn around. There we go. Tech-wise, a few people have asked. Uh, it's just an iMac. It's a standard, newish iMac. Obviously, I use a Mac. I'm not an idiot. I keep my microphone here because I do, uh, once in a while, I have to do my own like voiceover work. So, microphone, it's always hooked up, ready to go. I don't know, now I'm just showing you things. Wireless charger. I really like this light. It's pretty awesome. What if I talk like that all the time? It's pretty good. But you know, like, like you can do that once in a while if you're like, I don't know about that. You know, like you get why people do that. But if you talk like this all the time, it'd be like, hey, how are you, Fred? What's new? It would look like you're always like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? Hey, you're looking good today. <laughs> oh, is that your kid? Oh, hi, Susan. Oh. Like, what if you were always, you talk to somebody like this all the time? Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Ooh, 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 that would be a good video. If you went into Starbucks and ordered, like, you'd have to go, you know, every uh, couple of days and you walked in and every time you'd order, you'd order the same thing and try to order from the same person, but do it with a drastically different, strong facial expression. So like, if I was to do that, one day it'd be like, um, I'd just be like creepy happy. Hi, can I get a tall um, iced latte? You have to say it the same way. Your tone can't change, just your face. So it'd be like, hi, can I get a tall uh, iced coffee? Are you done? That's the end, that's my office. I don't know what this, I, I thought it'd be fun to do like, you know, workspace, this is what I love about this workspace, but then I realized, I mean, it's just, it's a comfortable chair and my arms are, because here's the thing, when we lived in the, our travel trailer for the four-ish years that we traveled on the road, I worked from our dining room table, which was a cheap, like, cheap, tiny Ikea table with a wooden Ikea chair, like wood, like standard, here's a wood chair. And that's how I worked. I did two feature-length documentaries from that chair and that table and a laptop. So it's like, you know, whatever. You use the workspace you have. I just think this one's like killer for me. I love it. So I thought, oh, I'll do a video on my workspace. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this. The world's greatest workspace. And then I'll show a picture of what, I mean, I don't know, of like a really cool workspace. Anyways, uh, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. it wasn't much to it, I realized. I have, um, I have some great ideas for some upcoming videos, but I just wasn't today. Um, I just didn't feel up to doing those because those need some time to think about what I'm going to say. And Anyways, i got to get back to work now. But there's my space. It's perfect for me. I love it. Oh, last thing. Look at this. My kids made me this. I mean, that's cool. Cool mouse pad. Alright, that's the end. I'm probably horribly out of focus. But we'll call it good. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe to the channel, subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you like it. Help us share the videos, let YouTube know that people like this so that more can watch it, won't you? Thanks for watching. Goodbye.